Alright, what is up guys? We're always welcome back to another, of course, Geller Defender League Battle versus San Diego Snuggler. So, really, really magnificent name. And uh, his team is rather tough. And I'll give you guys a quick preview. I should also say to his colleague Ray, Grandmaster Ray, that great person, really had a lot of fun just shadowing him in general. Has been super, super helpful since I got to know him in the Isle of Armor. So, having a chance to battle him is really cool. And his team is as follows Melmetal, Crocodile, Mian Xiao, Slow King, Galarian Form of Weezing, Delmise, Neuvern, Colossal, Luxray, and Lorosilia. I expect Melmetal, Crocodile, Mian Xiao, Slow King, Weezing, and Delmise or Neuvern. Uh, so we'll see how close we get. Um, and I'll explain my team as we go. Basically, I did. I see, oh, <sighs> we're not even close though. Not seeing Delmise is kind of good though. Um, that means he has no spinner on this team unless Weezing is defog. Um, so I like that. But yeah, I mean, no matter how I twist and turn things, it's gonna be a tough team. Um, also, trade Boris. His real name was Boris the Animal, but um, the Jenner <laughs> gave me a cold one there. Uh, but yeah, I think my best lead is actually start off with um, Cliffkey. Uh, basically, either get a paralyzation or a good amount of damage on Crocodile if his, that is his lead. Uh, I am primarily not that weak to Rock, so I'm no defogger for this team whatsoever. It might be biting me in the ass, but at least it's an option. Um, but yeah, if it leads up with Mianxia, we're gonna go for a Thunder Wave. I think that's the right play. But Metal Metal... <laughs> Don't have a switch in for that. <laughs> at all and um, yeah this league of course allowed that um, I actually didn't draft anything that was considered theoretically broken but um, had I thought about it I probably would have but Melmetal is absolutely one of those really really good Pokemon so it's tough to prep for and it's really really tough to deal with it also what a great profile pick he had there <laughs> good on your rate let's see he leads off with the Hamburglar, that is Crocodile. So right, the way I see it, he could be a potential sashed lead. He has actually Intimidate, so it's absolutely a not Scarfed one. So we go for that easy Dazzling Gleam. Like I said, most likely um, a sashed variant. I believe everything else doesn't make necessarily any sense. And consider the team I have, I think it's a, he has a right idea. This could be carrying Cro Earthquake and uh, Close Combat for sure. And um, yeah, overall annoying, of course. Let's see, it goes for Farfang. Right, we'll take that rather well. Uh, don't get burned, good. Go for Dazzling Gleam. He is somewhat bulky, isn't he? You know what? I go for a layer of spikes here. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Did not expect Fire Fang. I felt that Earthquake was such a good play in general. We'll see what it decides to do. Spice might be kind of reachy, but uh, I can always preserve uh, Cliff Key for another time. Let's see, High Horse Powder. Gonna pluck my Shuka. I believe we take this. Yeah, no problem. So right, but we won't take another one of those. So I want to preserve him somewhat. So high horsepower and we've seen... Yeah, I guess we bring Fade. Um, Firefang is kind of up there. Um, there is no way he would go for a knockoff, I think. Let's see, is he either going to go for a Fire Fang again, or a um, High Horsepower again? And high Horsepower is of course not reduced in uh, terrain. We'll see the Strath. Let's go buddy, let's go. High Horsepower, for, right? Reduction 1 in 1. We take that rather well. Now if I were him, I actually go into my Weezing. So I'm gonna go for a knockoff here. 
because Grassy Glide allows him to lose the Crocodile. And I won't die to a Fire Fang for sure. Which is a high horsepower. He could be a Salt Vest now that I think about it. Anyway. <sighs> he does switch out. Like I said, Weezing makes sense. Actually, Noivern. Okay. So getting a knockoff here is going to be great. Um, going to knock off the boots. No Rocky Helmet. Alright. You don't see that. You don't see that at all. Rocky Helmet, really? So one Fire Blast coming right up. So sending a Miraval, he could also U-turn. I think he gets like a fair amount of momentum out of that. I could always burn him, which would have been nice. Let's see. U-turns. Yeah, I thought that possibly could be the easy play. Could we get the flame body? Don't get the flame body. <laughs> So, right, 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 think about this. I think Snorlax could come in here for a free kind of setup. Or he goes back into Crocodile, which takes on Spike's damage. Now, do I want to take a knockoff? I don't want to take a high horsepower, that's for sure. I mean, I don't have like natural switch into this. Let's see. By the way, this time I'm actually going to go for um. Let's see, stealth rocks. Yeah, correct play. I'm kind of waiting on those. Right, go for Grassy Glide. Um, I don't think it's acted like Neumer makes sense. Um, Weezy makes sense, but I think Neumer will come on this time. There we go. Since I am a Salt Vest after all, I feel I could threaten him if I want to. That did alright. I'm gonna go for another U-turn, isn't he? I lose so much by switching in and out like that. Um, yeah, go for Boom Burst. I don't think he's gonna go for the Hurricane. I'm, I'm not sure, of course. Oh, he roosts. He roosts. All right. Let's see. How much will this boom burst do? Ah, not not a whole lot. I'm in a losing position here for sure. Thing is, I don't want to take too much damage onto Pokémon I've always have active. So I'm baiting the hurricane. If he goes for Fire Blast, you know, he gets to jump on me, and that's always pleasant. Let's see, Hurricane, Disconnect, and we live on a slither of health, but get paralyzed. So I'm dead by default, so I'm going for Thunder Wave here. Well, a second layer of Spice would be nice. Um, if I can get his, this guy paralyzed, this would be just phenomenal, as he can just U-turn and get the kill. I think he knows that. Hmm. Let's see, he does four switch out here. Goes to... Hombre. Alright, Snorlax. 
don't hit yourself now, buddy. I need you to kind of work here. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. So having him paralyzed is not the end of the world, for sure. Right? He's gonna spike up. I mean, it's not like the greatest thing that ever graced me, but for what I get here, I'm I'm feeling quite quite happy. And he is really thinking about this. Let's see. I get my second layer up, and I think he can go safely for. Yeah, nice punch. Cool. So it hits all the stops, and the Snorlax get the cliff kick kill. Now, here's the thing. I do not do well against this Pokemon. At all. So... Uh, it's not Ice Punch, it's alright. I just want to make sure that his uh, his damage output isn't like ridiculous against me because it will be anyway. But I'm going to do a bit of a reach here. I think because Asaf is good, but can't set up properly. Ooh, this is rough. Yep, sending in Boris. I have so few like proper options versus this. Because I believe he's just gonna get Gantamax max here. Switches out actually. Okay, cool. This is gonna be rough on him. I thought. Joke's on me. Why did he decide to switch out there? I thought that was in a um, tough position to sue, say the least. Um, right, bringing ass off. He has Hurricane or Fire Blast. He could have Draco. But more likely, I think he U turns here. I feel I lose the Switch games, which is not the best, like, thing to be at. So let's see. I'm predicting U-turn. I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I lose a lot of HP here. I can't get myself on position. I kind of want to just get those free hits, but I'm not there. Let's see. Toro. Yeah. Yeah, you look like a Toro. So, right, I'm going to take a bit of a small risk here. I'm actually going to go for a bulk up. See if the Shuka Berry can help me. Because this is not good. But, quite frankly, Melmetal is such a high pressure Pokemon for me, so I'll take any win I can get here. Let's see, high horsepower. Pop the Shuka. Do we manage to take it? Yeah, yeah, we're still in this. We won't take another, and we absolutely won't kill him in return. We'll use this, do as much damage as possible. Which I think he knows. Having an expert belt, I probably have a guarantee kill here, but we are, I don't believe we are in range of killing him.
Guess we have to see though. Like, he doesn't have a Pokemon that is faster unless Mian Xiao is Scarfed. Right, he does decide to stay in. Ah! He had a reduction bear on his own. Nice. I for some reason thought we... You know what? Never mind what I thought. Um, double Iron Bash. Ooh, had I bulked up again, we actually would have um, managed this. That's kind of exciting, isn't it? Ah, that's rough. That's rough. Still, though. Hmm. The terrain is still up. So we can try to keep the pressure up. Like, I need somehow to break him, and uh, I feel we aren't getting there. <laughs> so now we since gotta come in. No, the Hamburglar. So he's gonna get me at minus one. But I don't believe he has anything that can do more to me with this, right? So Firefang, we saw... What could you do? I'll score stats one more time, I don't believe... I don't believe you can do too much here. The stabs are resisted, Firefang maybe, and then we saw Stealth Rocks. So I don't know. Let's see... Firefang, yeah. I think we take those. Yeah. For sure. I could always get burned. That will be just... Just the worst. Please, I don't need 10%. Yeah. I think we won, actually. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether or not we won, but at least... At least we got into position. Like, I... I thought it was gonna Aram Bash with the Metal Metal and I was just gonna... Get, like, barely surviving it. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna take any victories right now. Like, I, if I get it, it's just by dumb luck. Because both me and my opponent know exactly what type of position I was in and how safely he could have played through this. Because I think it was, he was probably trying to sack Crook, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. Neutralizing gas. All right. Wow. 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 It's choice scuffed, isn't it? Wow. That is some tech, though. That is some tech. Oh, he got me good. Right. Right. That's actually kind of awesome. I should have thought about that, but just... I couldn't... I couldn't fabricate what could he possibly be thinking. Wow. Just... I'm in awe here. I mean, he, he clearly wins. And he wins because that was phenomenal. One of the few times I wish it was substitute. If, if Irish Emerald is watching this... Told you should have, <laughs> or I could have set it up a tailwind. Actually, thinking about it, I might have screwed myself over unwillingly. That was actually kind of cool. <laughs>
<laughs> I didn't even think about it. Right, this switches out, makes sense. Um, to Toro. At least we can get him burned, that would have been nice. Cool. The thing is though, I think Fire Blast kind of kills him anyway. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, we kinda, we were kind of screwed, aren't we? Like, I have no idea what to do against... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in awe. I had the option to go for a Tailwind before I knocked out the Crocodile if I wanted to. <laughs> so, to, <laughs> to an extent that I feel, meh, meh, you know, meh. <laughs> he pulled all his stops, so... <laughs> so I can only, like, give him mad respect for that. So here comes Hombre, and um, the only positive part about this is that we know he's paralyzed and he has no real way of recovery um, so I'm gonna send in Fade and uh, I guess do as much damage as possible I mean I kind of feel Mientia wins this game now no matter what he just you turn away um, I don't believe Miraval can do anything and I'm, I'm clearly sacking Fade here for no matter what because the Gigantamax is just gonna like wrap up the game I feel Ah, uh, I might have lost my own ignorance. Right now, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of kicking myself because there was no reason for me necessarily killing Crocodile. I could have gone for a Tailwind, and I would have been faster anyway. But that neutralizing gas, like I was so sure this was gonna be Levitate. Come on, we need a, f a few of those fully paralyzed situations going on. That would be nice. Yeah, I've got one of those, so we wasted one of those turns. I take every turn I can get from that. So we can't do like any high damage towards him, so I guess Grassy Glide is our strongest hit. Like I need hacks out the window, like I need everything to go my way. Let's see, Max Hail Stumps. Alright, we we didn't get that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, damn. I'll be honest. Look, I'm, I'm clearly overthinking this, but... Ah, oh, if I only... If I only got that thing right. Because I can send Miraval and guess go for Memento. And hope that I can wrap up with... Uh, Aqua Jet. Damn, I wish I was Soul Sense right now. That would be really cool. Um, I just can't win. I just can't win this. No matter how I twist and turn things, I just can't win. And it sucks. Because I fought a, I fought a good good. I got too ignorant. And my opponent got the play. He got the absolute play. And I'm standing here as an absolute idiot. Or not an idiot. I mean, clearly the strike was good. I just didn't think about it. Which I should have. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see, Crab Hammer. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> the damage. Get out of here, son. Oof. Had I just tailwind, it would have been the safest wind of my life. But I thought I already was there. And I get beaten by an absolute tech, and I just I can't I can't decide. Like, I can't focus on the game at all because I knew the second I saw the strange scene coming through that Ah! 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 Mm. Oh, he, he, he got it. He absolutely won. I wonder what he's thinking about right now. Brunson, Uncle, Demian Shao. 
And uh, yeah, I think you turn this to play. I can't count out prolong this. I get the flame body would have been nice. Flame body, flame body, flame body. You could just go for knockoff, I think, or a high jump kick. Actually, bulk up. So he was not even, huh? No scarfer. So losing Serora was was rough. Why did he go for a bulk up? I believe a crab hammer absolutely destroys him. No matter, no matter. Right now is just getting into position to absolutely lose, and I feel I did that way more time than I want to agree with. Now I hope he bulks up again. Nope, knocks off. Colber will not save me. Sadly, <laughs> but we get the flame party. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're still in it. Not really. I think high jump kick kills us. If drain punch, I think that kills us too. But so many residual damage, like first recovery, then leftovers, then burn, then heal. Just whack it whack. <laughs> uh. I'll be honest though, like in the beginning of the season, I did talk about um, how I feel about Draft League as a whole. And uh, playing this game, like it prepped, was it an hour before the game? Uh, having so many Wi-Fi battles played uh, throughout the week really does damage how much time I can spend in the leagues. And while I never would ever in my life expect the strat my opponent did, I also feel at the same time that it's not on on the crisp of where I want it to be. So I feel um, I feel a bit devastated. Um, I wish I could do smarter things than I do. And uh, to my opponent, you know, GG, I think he pulls this game off wonderfully. Yes, I had a sweep in hand, and yes, I might actually have screwed myself over a little bit with Tailwind in mind. But at the same time, like, he he played this game smart and had me pressured naturally. So I feel that you know, even if, like I said here, let's say I, I would have won with Haolucha. I still know as much as my opponent that, uh, you know, he deserved to win this uh, as he played this game smarter than me. But, of course, I feel a bit cheated knowing that I was not only in position to win, but also had option to win. I just didn't do the last kind of safe check, which could have actually considered the Weezing probably was speedy and offensive. I would have popped that guy straight off the earth easily. Uh, but with that said, that's all you guys. Thank you, of course, for watching and uh, really... Have a great day, everyone. And of course, make sure to check out my opponent's side and make sure to subscribe to him because he's a phenomenal PogTuber and I've really been enjoying his content. So that's it. Take care, everyone.